hello friends now we are dis going to discuss some terminology that are used that will be used in the boolean algebra okay so the first terminology is logical variables any name which is given to any logical statement is known as logical variable so what do you mean by this logical statement a statement which can be uh, like the for example the statement like sun rises in the east so this is a fact okay so this statement is called logical statement if i am uh, taking a statement like at what time sun rises so this is not a logical statement so for any logical statement if we are providing any variable or if we are providing any name to that statement is called logical variable it can be either a b c d or it can be x y z w p anything okay next the compound statement when we join two logical variables as we discuss what is logical variable so if we have to join two logical variable with the help of a logical operator then that statement is called compound statement means two logical variables are connected with the logical operators then that statement is called compound statement the logical operators can be this logical operators can be either it can be and or and not okay there are three type basic three type of logical operators this and can be denoted with the dot operator or can be denoted as with the plus operator and with this tilt sign give we will denote it as not operator so with the help of the any of these logical operator we join two logical variables then that statement is called compound statement okay next in the logical in the boolean algebra the most important terminology is truth table so it is a table which store all possible values for logical variables and their outcomes then that table is called truth table we will discuss it with the help of an example later first uh, you have to understood that how we design a truth table so the number of rows in a truth table depend upon the number of variable in the equation or in an any expression so the number of variable decide how many rows are there in a truth table and the number of rows for a truth table is equal to 2 to the power n where n is number of variable suppose if we have a uh, three logical statement okay and we define these three logical statement with the three logical variable that is a b and c therefore there are three number of variables so total number of rows in a truth table is 2 to the power 3 that is 2 to the 4 4 to the 8 so their total possible combinations are 8 and with the which operator we are using between the logical variables depends on the and it gives the some outcomes okay so for further discussing the some terminology uh first of all we discuss about these three logical operators and or and not and discuss that how we design the truth table for and for or and for not okay so first we will discuss with for the and operation see here we will get result true if and only if all the participant have value true if either will be false then the result will be false in the boolean algebra the true will be denoted by sorry true will be denoted by 1 and false will be denoted by 0 so either you can uh, prepare the truth table with 0 or 1 or true t or with the f, false for f so for the and operation we will denoted and operation with the dot operator see here there are two variables the logical variables are two here a and b so the truth table the possible combination of the truth table is 2 to the power 2 that is 4 okay so either a can be 0 or b can be 0 either a can be 0 b can be 1 a can be 1 either 0 uh, and a can be 1 b can be 1 so if there are two uh, variables we can write uh, prepare the truth table as first of all write 2 0 0 0 1 1 
and for the b variable 0 1 0 1 suppose if there are three variables a b c so for a uh, write down the four zero first and then one first four ones for b 2 0 2 1 2 0 2 1 and for c 0 1 0 1 alternatively okay so we'll discuss it in the later part so for the and operation if we will get we will get the result true as for math means one as if and only if, if all the participants have the true value suppose here if for a and b the all the both values are false means both values are zero so the outcome will be zero but in this case the both values for a and b are one so the outcome will be one so this is the how we prepare the truth table for the and operation now we will discuss or operation see in for the or operation we will denote it as plus sign in this or operation if either the variable have true the result will be true it means if either a or b have contain a value 1 then the outcome will be 1 okay if all the variable has the result false only then the result will be false see here 0 0 means the both the outcome will be 0 sorry both the value a for a and b are 0 therefore the result will be 0 and for the remaining values for 0 1 the one value uh, one variable have one uh, true value therefore the outcome will be 1 here and for the not operation is a unary operator which converts true to false and false to true alternatively means or you can say complementary if the variable uh, contain true then we have a false value outcome will be false and if the uh, input is false then the outcome will be true suppose for this a for this a the not for a that is negation for this a is like this we will denote it by this tilt sign so a if a is 0 then the outcome will be 1 here 0 1 1 for 0 1 for 0 similarly for b here b is 0 the answer will be not operation will be 1 and for 1 the answer will be 0 so this is how we prepare the truth table for some basic uh, uh, operations like and or and not okay the one more option a uh, one more uh, terminology is boolean function and boolean expression boolean function can be defined as by an algebraic expression which consists of binary variables and the constant 0 and 1 and the logical operation symbols here see this is an example for the boolean function here function is f f a b c d this means this whole algebraic expression contain four variables one is a two is b three is c four is d so this is called this is here uh, this is boolean function and this boolean uh, function contain a boolean expression which consists of binary variables either in a complementary and non-complementary form so this whole expression is called boolean expression okay here the left hand side this boolean function can also uh, can also be represented with the output y which is equals to y equal to a plus b c complement and a d c so we can write this boolean function with the uh, like this also y equal to a plus b c complement and plus a d c so this is a boolean function now uh, we take one example and prepare a truth table that it is uh, y with the help of and or and not okay so suppose uh, we have a three function a b and c with the expression called a plus b c we take a simple example okay so there are three variables here so it contain the two tip the possible combination which is contained in the truth table is 2 to the power 3 that is 8 so we prepare first all the inputs a b and c okay so this is a b and c so for the three variable for first a we write down uh, 4 times 0 4 times 1 for b 2 times 0 2 times 1 2 times 0 2 times 1 and for c 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 okay so these are some possible uh, inputs now first we prepare b 
dot c so b dot c as we already discuss b dot c means and operation so for the and operation we will get the result true only if and only if all the participant have the true value so for b dot c we have to consider only b and c just hide this a so see here if we have uh, for the outcome will be 1 then all the participant will have a 1 value means this is 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 this is 1 0 0 0 1 now this b dot c or with a so a plus b dot c for or the for the or operation see here we if either the variable have any true value then the result will be true so for this outcome for this outcome or we can say this is y this is y for this outcome we have to consider this a row and b dot c so we perform or operation here 0 0 the answer is 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 and 1 either or uh, any variable will have a true value then the result will be true so here b dot c will be a 1 so answer will be 1 1 dot 0 1 okay 1 uh, plus 0 1 1 and 1 so the result final output for the y is equals to this is so this is how we prepare the truth table so these are some diff uh, simple terminology we are using in the boolean algebra and uh, we take some more example in my next video so keep watching our video thank you so much